be, and you can see that the basic and seat of intubation rate has improved significantly. The great thing about the Daily Mail was when I said the intubation rate was um, only about 57%, they put the headline up and said, yeah, 40% of cancers missed due to poor doctors. It was great, right on the front page of Daily Mail. And Mike Richards rang me up. He said, how dare you do this? I said, sorry, I know you, you're patients. I knew exactly who he was. But it had the desired effect, we got some money. And I went to the Department of Health and they said, oh, is this penos got anything to do with cancer? I said, well, funnily, yes, it has. And that's how the funding started. Really. That's, not, that's only... We're talking 13 years ago, less than that, 10 years ago. Accuracy. You can't visualize a mucosa unless you've got that fine angulation and four. It's a bit like having your, your arm in there and you kind of wipe your hand around the whole of the colon. If you haven't got that fine movement, you will not see small bodies. Easy. Cancer on the left? Very easy. No problem. You can see that. You will not well, on the right, oh, we can probably won't bother about this, just whip it off with a snare in the wrong position. That's actually got a cancer in it. Should have been tattooed. So it's about we could, uh, polyp recognition as well. Inversion, some people say, oh, I don't do that because it's difficult and it could be dangerous. But there you are, it's a nice little adenoma, severely dysplastic, with the anorectal reduction. Everybody should be doing that. I won't ask anybody if they're not doing it. I know some do. But when you go back, have a go at it. <coughs> Withdrawal type, a lot has been said about this. Uh, interestingly enough, Guy Hoff recently wrote um, from the Norwegian experience where some, I know there's patients, but no patient in Norway ever had sedation, so they're very hardy people. They do go out rolling in the snow after they've had a shower and they've got some water. But effectively, he found no difference. It's actually, it, the time is irrelevant. It's actually, you could spend half an hour. But if you're rubbish in the colonoscopy, you're still not going to see them. But it does take uh, an expert probably at least six, seven minutes to get a good visualisation of the colon. Because it's quite a long way to come back. So it's going to take around that. But to try and make it longer and longer, to say, oh, if we do it for 20 minutes, we'll get more polyp. But he will. But isn't it better to get the guy doing the colonoscopy to be better? And because most colon is not a big variation at length. You should be able to see most that's going to be there within six or seven minutes. And I think somebody was proposing 12 minutes now is the optimal. Next, you know, next year it's going to be 20 minutes, and the year after it'll be an hour. So you'll get to the seat, and if you're good, you just park for a while. A bit like when you go through the variable speed limit, you know, you slow down for a bit, or you park if you've been doing it a bit faster, and you come out again. So, same tricks. James showed elegantly the position change. 